Yo, guys, Urban Bars brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. And guys, we're in the UK with our man Ren once again. And guys, Ren just dropped in the last hour or so. He dropped another cut called Seven Sins. And when he said Seven Sins, I immediately thought to the Seven Deadly Sins people. <sighs> and then I thought of the film Seven as well. You know what I'm saying? But guys, it is what it is. But here at Urban Bars, we absolutely look forward to every time Ren drops a new track, no matter what style, steel or genre, whatever it is, owed this, that, and the third, whatever, spoken. And this is a lyric video, I think. It says a lyric video. I think it says that, guys. So we're not going to ramp around, guys, here at Urban Bars. Let's check out our man, Ren, and let's check out what he's got to say. <laughs> I think that's another language, people. Or am I dreaming? Is that another language? <laughs> R.I.P. I think he's talking in riddles here. I can't work out what he's saying. So if you guys know what Ren's saying straight away, guys, let me know. And what kind of instrument is he singing through people? Let me know. Just changing his voice up slightly. <laughs> some of those symbols before I lay broken on the kitchen floor I clawed at the laminate pain wandered my body an uninvited guest bones of a home where the devil could rest I cursed the gods cursed my messiah cursed my maker I cursed all of creation there I lay feeble and thin sick boy sick boy seven I say have you ever sick boy sick boy seven sins so literally at the start of this, Ren's not in a good place. He's down on the, was it the kitchen floor? And he's cursing at the Bible and all things good, all things bad. Absolute pain he says he's in. So I think he's describing how it feels to be in his condition at its worst. But I might be wrong, guys. I'm going to weed it back a bit. My body, an uninvited guest, bones of a home where the devil could rest. I cursed the gods, cursed my messiah, cursed my maker. I cursed all of creation. There I lay, feeble and thin. Sick boy, sick boy, seven, I say. Have you ever felt pain? Stomach wrenching, unrelenting. Tell me, have you ever felt pain? Condescend. So just gonna weed it. So back apologies a bit, there, people. guys. Something happened to the system and it just went kaput, kaplunk, kaping. So I hope it's not going to keep doing it because this song sounds so good. I love this song already, people, but let's get back into our marriage. Invited guest, bones of a home where the devil could rest. I cursed the gods, cursed my messiah, cursed my maker. I cursed all of creation. There I lay, feeble and thin. Sick boy, sick boy, seven, I say. Have you ever felt pain? Stomach wrenching, unrelenting. Tell me, have you ever felt pain? Condescending, muscles clenching Tell me, have you ever felt pain? A rose emerges from the pavement cracks I'll write my eulogy with broken glass Eternal paralysis mm. Pain Pain the author, I accept this Pain the teacher, bruised apprentice I like that, pain the author, I accept this Pain the teacher, I'm the apprentice So literally, Ren has lived with so much pain inside that It's almost something that he expects and if he's not in pain he's probably thinking why am i not in pain 
it's kind of one of these sort of things like you've got people who live with depression all their lives and they get and some people live with depression for a very long time people don't even know they got depression because they somehow learn to live with it i know it sounds crazy but that's what i'm thinking here so he's live he's learned to live with the pain he doesn't want to have it, the pain but he's learned to live with it so when it's not there it's almost like whoa so he said he's the author the apprentice of to the pain he's learning from it he's learning to live with it and to move forward with it as well pain the author i accept this pain the teacher bruised apprentice pain was this thing pain will come pain the mother i'm the son pain, mm. pain the mother i'm the son so it's almost like it's a generational thing so or not even the generation it was from the dna so you pass it from one to the other and it's almost like because the relationship to the mother and son is the bond is so close it's like there's a bond between our man ren and pain but ren is trying to i think ren is trying to show us what this pain is for him that he's gone through it's very hard to explain so this is probably the best way he can tell us the pain that splits you oh my goodness this pain the teacher bruised apprentice pain was this thing pain will come pain the mother i'm the son pain that splits you and too many hits you the dark and the light will converge to one pain that twists you the heavens dismiss you the father the ghost and the holy son body bags body bags body bagging me zip it up quicker they things on b i search for peace in the belly of a beast sick boy sick boy on a matter p i am in a believer mm -hmm. sick boy sick boy on a matter b that's those sort of sounds like animals make like was it the cat meow the dog woof woof barking and the cow moo moo oh my goodness following the fever up quicker they things on b i search for peace in the belly of a beast sick boy sick boy on a matter p i running up a fever following the leader wanna be me huh grass isn't greener bright lights he's your dynamite dealer dine at the table of the coroner e top for 13 years and i've been feeling so stark lucky number 13 just my luck empires tumble rubble and dust the universe shrinks and the planets combust in god we trust god tied a noose to his neck and he walked to the edge and he jumped I bear witness watching the whole thing unfold from my bed a bed where I never deep rest a bed where I'm always depressed a bed with the human oppressed a bed for a tomb where I slept a bed in the room that's a wound for this mess sick boy bitten by a tick boy tell me how it feels to be buried while you breathe stones and stick wow so sick boy bitten by a tick boy so is that how it all happened for Ren? He got bitten by a tick? I don't know, guys. Let me know down here in the comment section. I don't know enough about it. But he said 13 years. He's been suffering for 13 years. Or has he had this? Was he misdiagnosed for 13 years? I don't know, people. But whatever it is, he must have been going out of his mind. So this is a physical and a mental torture, both at the same time. Wow. God tied a noose to his neck and he walked to the edge and he jumped. Angels wept. I bear witness watching the whole thing unfold from my bed. A bed where I never deep rest. A bed where I'm always depressed. A bed with the human oppressed. A bed for a tomb where I slept. A bed in the room that's a wound for this mess. Sick boy bitten by a tick boy. Tell me how it feels to be buried while you breathe. Stones and sticks boy. Pain is a gift boy. Hard to make a stand when you crawl on your knees and I kneel. I kneel at the altar of my own disease and I beg. Mm. I begged the sky for mercy, mercy never came. I dipped me dirty, 33 and hurting, cursing. Jesus died at 33 and still my sins are lurking. Gears are turning, future stays uncertain. Surgeon incision, murder ambition. Fear of the unknown preserved. Mm. So it's another one of those sacred numbers, isn't it? 33, 23 numbers like that. I always tell you it's about signs, symbols, numbers, colors. Trust me on this, people. It is about these things. But it's very, very. <sighs> It's comforting that Ren has accepted his predicament, but also he's striving to get himself out of that predicament. So he's accepted how to live with it. And he's expressing what's happened to him over this period of time. And I think this is the only way he can actually express to us and to show us how bad it has been at times, but also how he's learned to master and to come out the other side even if you want to say that that's incredible and it's also this song i can see these eyes just looking at you it's all about symbols people these eyes just staring back at me here <laughs> but was it i fear fear of the unknown isn't it Pre preserves a religion so this is how he's questioning things 
And this is in his mind how he's questioning all that we see, all that we do, all that we think, all that we feel. But what I'm hearing about this song though is this song is kind of quite it's 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 kind of positive in a lot of ways. The beat and everything is a it's a song you can actually probably dance to, but if you listen to the lyrics of what he's actually saying, it's actually full of so much angst and pain and if you want to say anger rough is this where we hear the seven sins i don't know i don't know envy jealousy i don't know let me know i kneel at the altar of my own disease and i beg i beg this guy for mercy mercy never came i fit me dirty 33 and hurting cursing jesus died at 33 and still my sins are lurking gears are turning future stays uncertain surgeon incision murder ambition fear of the unknown preserves a religion denounced the gods when my body went missing back then the pain spray ricochet like a mac 10 hot lead hit the bed that was trapped in red wings seraphim out of god's grace cried tears from heaven like clapping stick pins in the voodoo hendrix thick skin stay humble kendrick stay skeptic checked by your metrics blood Staying crime scene for forensic Lights on, lights down Fade into the background So down, so down Running from the silhouette of self-doubt By now, by now Really should have figured this shit out Lights on, lights down Smack down Let it be, let it be Quote John Lennon Click that John got shot for retention What does that tell you about the good of intentions? Written as formed in a storm of aggression Prophets get dropped from the engine in heaven Martin Luther, my hand, I'm all dead to see Martin Luther, Mahatma Gandhi as well. Whoa, John Lennon. <laughs> Lennon, click that John got shot for retention. What does that tell you about the good of intentions? Written as formed in a storm of aggression. Prophets get dropped from the engine in heaven. Martin Luther, Mahatma or dead. And six, six, followed by six, seven, seven. Build and praise and bury him dead. I was born to be half a man with half a chance. My heart is in half, half. Mm, let's go back. Build and praise and bury him dead. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. Build him, praise him, bury him, dead him. I was born to be half a man with half a chance My heart is in half, half righteous Half is down and half a gram half So it's the half and the half and the half and the half Like that, so he's still going with some schemes the Six, six, followed by six, seven, seven Build him, praise him, bury him, dead him. I was born to be half a man with half a chance My heart is in half, half righteous Half is down and half a gram Hard gold troubles and thoughts stay darker than A Wukai master plan Sharper than glass shards, splinter and cinnamon Cinnamon, irony could kill a man Pain makes money when the music lands expand Pay me my cheese, rain down parmesan mm. Followed by seven, seven whole sins For a self-made Armageddon Sin one, pride Pride makes a man kill a man For his ego to survive Sin So in this song, there's two conflicting elements going on here so he's talking about the elements with the religion he was saying messiah then he said like the 666 which is the number of the beast or some people say the number of, of the man so ren is questioning all ends of the spectrum here people i'm just going to wheel that back a bit all about symbols, signs, colors. Parmesan, followed by seven, seven whole sins for a self made Armageddon. Sin one, pride. Pride Ooh. makes a man kill a man for his ego to survive. Pride makes a man kill a man. And I was thinking, what's that song, How, How to Kill a Man? You know, with Sen Dog, Trez Equis, if you know who I'm talking about, Cypress on the Hill. And then the link then goes back to religion, Cypress Hill, the hill. Anyway, let's go. And whole sins for a self-made Armageddon. Sin one, pride. Pride makes a man kill a man for his ego to survive. Sin two, lust. Lust makes the grass look greener. Crucifies trust. Sin three. Mm. So he said lust, crucify. So he's still going back with a lot of linking, segueing and going back to religion each and every time. He said lust on the cross. To survive. Sin to lust. Lust makes the grass look greener. Crucifies trust. Sin I say crucify. It's trust. Sorry. Not on the cross. <laughs> By sin to lust. Lust makes the grass look greener. Crucifies trust. Sin free. Gluttony. Humans consume and consume. Planet Earth gets the frontal lobotomy. Mm. Four. Sloth. Mm. Rinse and repeat. Reruns. Repeat. Time lost. Sin five, envy, that's when one man's win is another man's frenzy. Ooh. Sin six, wrath, rage, vengeance, killers, psychopath. 
Since seven, greed. Green plants a seed that will destroy us all if we succumb to greed. If we take what we need, then take more than we need. Then our oceans will bleed. Still we feed and we feed and we sleep and repeat. Then we exile the shepherds and follow the sheep. We inherit the meat. We inherit this world that we bruise and we beat. We inherit this vanity so because of creeds. Inherit the liars, the more the receives. One sin for every one day of the week. <laughs> one sin for every one day of the week. Oh my goodness, that was good, people. I really don't know how Ren sets about getting the two sides together so for instance getting on the the musicality side of things but then the other part of it is the writing how does he shape out the writing does he have a full vision before he starts or does he start somewhere and segue into other areas i don't know it's a it'll be an interesting process to see how ren starts with his writing style so i know for a fact he he has uh what would you want to call it he'll have a vision he'll have an end point he wants to get to i'm expecting or i'm i'm assuming people shouldn't assume but it'll be interesting to see how he gets to that end point so there's lots of thematic stuff he'll want in there as well there's a lot of elements that he wants to drop in there but he kept on the one theme there to be honest with you but he would meander away and come back meander away and come back so that was interesting there and it was good that at the very end he broke down those seven sins and i know them as the seven deadly sins be that as it may but gluttony lust greed sloth envy pride wrath or anger i like to call it anger wrath and all that sort of stuff but that was great so that was seven <laughs> sins people that was our man ren doing what he does again putting the cat amongst the pigeons people putting the cat amongst the pigeons he's throwing that pebble into the sea and seeing the ripples go where they may guys let me know in the comment section what you thought of that that was incredible one it's a track that i have to listen to probably three or four times and as i say before people i never listen to anything before i react to it so ren dropped this earlier today first time i'm checking it out guys it's really really interesting so for a lyric video that was really really interesting and it makes sense it was a lyric video some of those images sort of just shot out at me so i could see quite a few bits and pieces going on there i didn't comment on every single thing i saw but it was interesting people there's lots to go on, lots to go on. I could have stopped it, rewound, stopped a rewound, but I'd have probably lost my thread. But it is what it is, people. And Ren is who he is, people. So guys, anyway, let me know in the comment section what you thought of that. That was fantastic. That was Seven Sins, and that was our man Ren. Here at Urban Bars, we will continue to listen to Ren and continue to be amazed at what he does next. Just when you think <laughs> you know what Ren is about, he takes a pivot. That's all I'm going to say. He pivots and he's all about something else. But guys, it's Heartman Ren and that is who he is. Hope you enjoy that, guys. Whatever you get up to, make certain you look after yourselves, you look after each other, go out and have fun. But more importantly than all of that, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel here at Urban Bars, guys, what are you waiting for? But even more important than that, guys, make sure and make certain to come back to the next Urban Bars reaction, guys. I'm out.